of el salón, the chronicles. Oye, ladies of el salón, the chronicles. Escucha, ladies of el salón, the chronicles. Am I the asshole for not inviting my friend to something because she always brings her husband? Ever since my friend got engaged and later married, her husband comes with her everywhere. In the beginning, it didn't seem weird, but uh, she mentioned something about a girl's night, and when we'd show up, he'd be there. Friends would have birthday parties where none of our partners were invited, and it was just the girls, and she'd bring him. We tried to talk to her about it, but she says it's just how they are as a couple. They, they like to do things together. There have been a few occasions where he won't come, but that's because he's working. It got to the point where we tried to plan events around his work schedule. It's the same every week. But eventually, that became impossible. We haven't gotten together much over the past year because of the pandemic, but recently, our favorite bar reopened with patio seating. A bunch of us wanted to go, but the only night that worked for us was a time when friend's husband wasn't working. It meant he'd come. So we chose not to include her on these plans and went out having a great time. We could bitch about whatever, and there wasn't someone awkwardly hanging over us. It was the girls' night we needed. One of the people in our group posted a picture on Instagram, and our friend who wasn't invited saw it. She got upset that she wasn't invited and asked why. We knew she was free, whatever, but, you know, she was still upset. So no one wanted to own up to it. And I said, because we wanted a girl's night, not a girl's night plus your husband. She got more hurt and accused us of not liking her husband. I said, that's not true. He's a cool guy. But sometimes we just want to be with us girls. Some of us are married and we don't drag our husbands to every event. She stopped responding to the group chat and hasn't spoken to me since. I'm now wondering if we were being mean and if I was too hard on her. Am I the asshole? I don't what do you guys so. think? I don't think so. <clears throat> so I don't think so either. I just think that they should have been up front with her. So I've been in that place and where Zuli and my other cousin said, it's a girl's night out, just the girls. Because, not that I always wanted to bring people around, but it was just an, uh, an awkward situation. I just think that they should have been straightforward with her and said, we appreciate that that's your relationship and we respect that, but this is just the girls. So if you can't come alone, just don't bring them. I, that's the way I would have done it. I wouldn't have not invited her. I would have said, we're going out, not necessarily disclose where or all the details, just in case she's that kind of person who shows up. But I would have been up front and said, hey, you know, you've expressed in the past that this is what you guys like to do. We respect that. That's fine. That's your relationship. But we don't want any guys. And that's it. That's the only thing I would have done different. But I don't think they're an asshole. I think they felt uncomfortable maybe being, for, you know, straightforward. But that's about it. Yeah, I think they should have been straightforward too. But um, the whole point of a girl's night out is to go out with girls. Why are you inviting your husband or your boyfriend or whoever? Just have, I think there's a lot of couples that don't know how to, how to have fun unless they're together and you need your own time. I think that that's very healthy for a relationship. I think it's healthy when you go out and you have fun with girls. And even when you flirt, I think it's, it's very healthy so long as it's, um, you don't cross the line. But I think that moment with your girls where you do whatever you want, I think it's very important. And I think it makes a relationship stronger. So why always well, you... bring bring the, the, the partner along. No. Well, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to go straight to insecurities and, you know, falsehoods. And we know somebody, Zuli, you know, we all know somebody who they have like this pact and, you know, nobody goes anywhere or whatever. And I think right. that's, I think that's unhealthy. And I think that it's, it, it stems from uh, a mutual uh, lack of trust and, 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 and lack of, of security. Right. Liz, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you have to get closer to your mic. Okay. Or bring your mic closer to you, whichever works best, because it's not picking it up. So you heard nothing that I just said. Now you I sound did, better, actually. But now you sound, <laughs> you were sounding really far. No. You know what it is? You have an echo. Yeah. 
I have an echo. Well, well when you're you far away. When you're far. Yeah. When I'm far away, so I don't have an echo now. Okay. So basically, that's what, you know what I'm saying is that it st things like that stem from a mutual distrust, uh, and then also from the lack of security in the relationship. Because if you're not feeling comfortable, that so a relationship it ha has three entities, right? It's the two individuals and then the relationship, and each part has a need. And those needs have to be fulfilled in different ways. And if your needs, your individual needs are only being fulfilled by the needs of the relationship, mm -hmm. then there's an, a bigger issue going on. Um, and you know, so, but as long as that works for the individuals and they're fine with it, great. But then she's going to have to give up going places or whatever. Well, I don't think it's fair for the other friends that, because you know how some women are a certain way around their friends and then they're different when the, when their men are around. Right. So that kind of changes the dynamic of like the, you know, the experience when your man is around, if you're one of those people, like while I was on vacation, uh, Randy and I were like, as soon as we got there, we were waiting for our room to get set up. We go to the bar and these three girls are sitting at the bar and one of them strikes a conversation with me. We started talking and she was upset. And I guess she needed to vent to somebody. And I look like the kind of person that listens. I don't know. So she is like, <laughs> I, dude. <laughs> so um, she says to us, you know, we're here with our friend. It's her birthday. I guess it's her 30th birthday. So it's a milestone birthday. And uh, it was a girl's trip. But the girl brought her fiance on the girl's oh, trip. Damn. So it's oh, nine no. women, <laughs> one man. And the thing is that she's like, yeah. And then she's acting all brand new. Like the music is pumping. We're all twerking. And she's sitting in a corner looking at us, judging us in front of him where she would be the lead twerker if it right. weren't for him. Make doing splits so and shit. <laughs> so we were like, well, that kind of sucks. And she's like, yeah. So, you know, and it's her birthday, but she's like, pretending in front of him that she is not like us and it's like but you are we are your friends so it's like she wants to have you know like i guess they're still not well they're engaged but i guess she's still the representative to him she's not her real self and mm. so they were like they were really upset and so they were like what do you think are we wrong for this because um because it's our vacation also. We took time. We paid money. We want to have a good time. So we don't want to spend time with her anymore. So they left the birthday girl alone. And actually, Randy and I saw her at the club that night with, like, the sash that says birthday girl with the little... Zola. With, uh, by herself. Well, with her but boyfriend, wait, did the friends, seen... wait, did the friends know that she was bringing the boyfriend? Or did they just find out when they got there? I'm not sure. She didn't give us all those details, but she did, you know, she, they were upset. They were angry at her. And I under, I, I can understand that. I can understand I would be that. annoyed. I would be, I annoyed. Would be yeah. very annoyed. And yeah. so I can tell you how that went down. He said, uh, so you're not going unless I go with you. And I would have stayed my ass at home or we wouldn't be together. Certainly not engaged and getting married. We'd be having another conversation. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's one of those things where I don't understand when, you know, like if I say I'm having a girl's night, Randy can text me, maybe call me one time, but he knows fall back. I will reach out to you. Let me enjoy this time. Like don't insert yourself. He's very respectful of that. Mm -hmm. I, I can't stand men that don't understand those boundaries. You know, it has to be. I agree. And not only that, um, you also have to think of the fact that, you know, if you can't be yourself behind his, I mean, in front of him, then you shouldn't be whoever that is behind him. You should be able to do whatever you're going to do in front of him or behind him. Otherwise, then it's wrong, right? Right. Yeah. So because you should be able to do whatever. So that's another thing. This yeah. is why I'm saying Well, the person that I do think is the asshole, though, is the friend that violated the group and posted the picture on Instagram. That's the asshole. Mm. Oh be yes, isn't there a rule? Isn't there? Like yes, a there should a be rule? rules okay. like uh, this. You know, like whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No posting, right. no this, no, no that. Post. So that's the so you asshole. Don't need, yeah, you don't need to post anything on any social media. Like there's because it didn't happen than... if it's not on social media. 
right? Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe she did it on purpose. Maybe she wanted her to see. Could I be. think people mm-hmm. just lack etiquette and they get drunk and they forget and they don't care or whatever. I don't well, know. this girl actually is a nurse and she was topless twerking and the friend posted it on Instagram. Like, oh. you see, that's a that's not a friend. That's a problem for me. She, oh, so she that, was really upset. She's she like, would never get invited. That's an issue. Anyway, so that is my Am I the Asshole? Ladies of El Salon, the crime.